Today we're going to go over three newer projects in the space that aren't yet listed on exchanges, but they're getting close, maybe a few weeks away. And the hype for each of these projects is building so much that I think they each have a chance at exploding when they do get listed. These are three of my favorite new projects in the space. And without further ado, let's start in with project number one, Crypto GPT. Here's the website right here, CryptoGPT.org. They are a blockchain protocol designed for the artificial intelligence revolutions. So there we go. This is an AI project. You've heard all about these sort of crypto AI projects. Well, this is my favorite one in that sector. They're all about the monetization of your AI data, turn every task of your daily life into a source of income. To do this, they combine two of the most advanced technological features, the ZK Rollup Layer 2 blockchain that enables private, secure, and scalable transactions. I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest, but it sounds pretty high tech. And data to AI engine that collects, processes, encrypts, and packages data for commercial applications. Again, sounds high tech. So, in other words, it's just a fa another faster, speedier blockchain, but for AI dApps to build on it. So, here, examples of some of the AI dApps that are going to build on it. There's fitness AI apps, there's dating AI apps, games, education AI apps. And basically, this blockchain that takes your data from these AI apps and then allows you to earn from it and take ownership of it, etc. We've seen a couple projects sort of utilizing that same kind of own and earn from your data genre so amongst these dApps that are actually already on it so this isn't like blockchain that has to attract dApps to build on it they already have some dApps that are on this blockchain they have two these dApps have a total of two plus million active users making it actually one of the biggest blockchains around and they're aiming to get 10 million users on all their dApps within the blockchain by the end of 2023 like nine months away so an example of some of the specific apps, so Palm, this is a dating app that has 200,000 users in the UK that uses AI. That's pretty cool. Den, this is a social network with 150,000 users that, again, uses AI. It's the number one social app for college students in 100 plus universities globally, mostly in the Europe region, I believe. Do, do, do. So... Now, the, the most impressive part about this project is the community so far. So I mentioned that, it, you know, it's a newer project, even though it feels like it's been around a while since they have so many dApps already on it. It's a newer project. They were only created about a month ago. And look at this Twitter traction here, 197,000 followers in just a month. And that was yesterday. And then today, when I redid the slides here, already up to 207,000. So they're getting like 10,000 followers a day. The traction is just ridiculous. AI is just all the rage these days. Now, they're also doing a public sale on Dowmaker, just like another project last week that I covered. Now, Dowmaker itself, so this is a launch pad. I, I'm a big fan of it. It kind of does a lot of the initial due diligence for you, takes the legwork out of it. Dowmaker has a coin themselves, which I mentioned before. It has about a $200 million market cap. Look at Dowmaker's coin's price action. Here's a three-month chart. I've been trying to do straight up. Dowmaker itself is hot, very hot. Specifically, let's look at this here. So in the, the 60 day chart for Downmaker, they're up 108%. So it's not just the projects that are, you know, on the Downmaker that are hot. Downmaker itself is hot. There's a reason I like it. So back to the Crypto GPT fundraise on there. So again, like the project that covered last week, they're getting massive traction. They've attracted 50,000 participants, wallets that connected that are connecting to the uh, the public sale to try to get an allocation. Those 50,000 wallets have connected a total of 1 billion crypto assets, making GPT the most anticipated token launch in Dowmaker's history. So again, the, as I mentioned last week, the allocations are not guaranteed. You just connect your wallets and then you're given a score and then you have a greater chance of getting in depending on like the more money you have. And so if you have a lot of money in your connected wallets, there's not a lot of people trying to get into the private, into the public sale. You have a high chance of getting in. This one has a lot of people trying to get in, so it's going to be very competitive and they're only raising a $3 million hard cap. So it's not like a huge hard cap. $3 million hard cap on a $15 million valuation. As I remember, this is the most number of connected assets, uh, connected wallets that have tried to get into a public sale in Downmaker's history. They have between 90 and 100 total um, launchpad public sales that they've done, total projects. So this is the most hyped up one of all. They have the most total connected assets. So the hype is real. Why are people excited? Obviously, AI is trendy. Also, the team, tons of experience here. So the main guy, it's this guy, how do you pronounce this? Dejan Ezra. He's the CTO of CryptoGPT. He was ex-Ripple's number two 
tech guy previously. So there was the CTO, Ripple, um, Schwartz, I think David Schwartz's name. This guy was the number two tech guy. Considering Ripple's huge and the number six cryptocurrency, if you take out the two stables, USD and Tether, then they're the number four crypto projects. So this guy is one of the biggest heavyweights and the developer in technical sense in all crypto. You also have this guy here, Bradley Tafe. He is the UK government and minister advisor for all matters AI. So he's like U the UK's AI head honcho. This guy right here. Very cool. So again, the this not on exchanges yet. The public sale is ongoing right now. Here's a CoinGecko page. You can check that out if you want. Uh, the token will be the tradable token will be, will be the GP token. So check that out when it comes off. And then it will be an Ethereum ERC20 token. Dive in and dive right in with project number two. Now, project number two is the project that I brought you last week. That's also on Downmaker, Dejan Zoo. They did the public sale on Downmaker. It was equally hyped up. And just a quick refresh. You remember, I'd say an animal charity game, like an animal killing game that is designed to mimic extinction situations where hunters will kill animals for money to be able to sell the animal, even though they might not want to actually kill the animal. It's a charity project, 2.5% NFT fees, goes 100% to the charity DAO wallet. The game consists of these four sort of uh, areas. There's egg hatching, breeding, staking animals, and burning NFTs. Basically, you stake your animals, your NFTs, then the longer you stake, the longer the lockup, the higher the yield. But you can also burn your NFT or kill the animal, which unlocks the DZU tokens inside it, so you get quick access to your tokens. They're unlocked, but it comes with a financial penalty because you killed the animal. On the other hand, the longer you let the animal live and the longer you stake your NFT animals, the more DZU it gives you in the long run. So you're sort of sacrificing short-term gains for long-term gains and you let the animal live. So it really does sort of mimic sort of extinction type situations in the wild. Very cool. It started as a challenge to Logan Paul. As you all know, he started the CryptoZoo project, a similar game about a year ago, and then in a year, almost no progress has been made. The game has not come out. Nothing has been done. This project... This founder wanted to see if he could build the same sort of game in just 30 days, and he accomplished that. He was able to de deliver the version one test net on exactly 30 days and just about $35,000 very quick. And then when V2 test net came out about a week or two after, they already had 3,000 people playing the game in the first 24 hours. So it's got a lot of traction right there. They're, you know, like for like Crypto GPD, their Twitter page is just on fire, 153,000 followers. They've been around about two months. They started January, a month before Crypto GPT. So this was about five days ago, 153,000. Look at this here, five days later, just today, I want to put up the slide, 247,000 followers. So in five days, this project gained an extra 100,000 followers. So this project is hot. It's not just my videos, it is hot. And the public sale on Downmaker, as I mentioned last week, it is hot as well, just about as hot as the Crypto GPT public sales. They have had 115,000 wallets connecting, total value of 700 million. So what was it? So Crypto GPT, pretty similar numbers. Crypto GPT had 50,000 wallets and 1 billion. So Crypto GPT had a little bit more, 1 billion versus 700,000. But Crypto GPT had about half as so many wallets, 15,000 versus 100,000. So Crypto GPT, the average per wallet is a little bit more, but they have not quite as many. So Deacon Zoo caters a little bit more to the retail trader, but both are equally hyped. Here's an interesting about the, of the 115,000 wallets that have connected or trying to get into the Dijon Zoo um, public sale, 50 of the wallets have at least a million dollars in assets. So you've got some whales here. The 2,000 wallets have between 50,000 and $250,000 worth of connected assets. You have a lot of mini whales. You have a lot of whales. Very impressive, very impressive. We also have some other big names here. Lady Crypto, she got into the pre sales. So you're starting to see some big names, big names, and Twitter gets into this project. I am very excited about this one, just as I am with Crypto GPT before. Project number three. Not too much of a surprise here. This is one I've talked about a lot in my show since the very beginning of me having my channel on. It is Pulse Chain. Some of you might be huge fans, some of you might be rolling your eyes when I mention this, but it's it's finally coming to fruition. I think it's only a few weeks away. We don't there's no proof of that, no confirmation, but the clues are adding up. So this one's a little bit different. The other projects have just been around about a month or two and have gained quick, massive traction. This one's different. They did their huge sacrifice public sale in 2021, two years ago. They raised a massive $670 million. So that's not just people trying to get into the public sale. That's the amount they actually raised, $670 million. But then, you know, over the first year, year and a half, not too much 
you know, development was happening. And then Sister Token Hex, which has been traded on exchanges, it kind of took a big hit. Here was back in June, like nine months ago. The price took a big nose to I basically due to just frustration with pulse changes not coming out because a lot of hex holders were also invested in that $670 million pulse chain fundraise. So it took a little hit there. But then in the last few months, it's kind of turned up here. So if we zoom in on the chart here for hex in the last three months, it's trending straight up. Look at the numbers here. 246% in the last two months. Hex, it's the quietest coin in the top two, 300 that is mooning. It is, it is on fire. Why is it mooning? Well, not. They've come out with very few developments on what no new news. It's strictly just hype due to Sister Project Pulse Chain. Hype is building. It's almost coming out. And that is carrying off on the Hex token. That is pretty much the main reason why. So what is Pulse Chain again? Just like crypto gpt it's another blockchain that is aiming to be cheaper faster this one pulse chain is aiming to kind of be at a bit better version of ethereum whereas a certain you know with ethereum transactions that take 13 seconds a certain amount of uh, transactions pulse chain can do the same amount in just three seconds so it's definitely a faster version now you know what's more important than was it fast or cheaper it's just how close is it to being done meaning how close is this project going to get listed on exchanges no one really knows but richard hard founder has dropped some clues that it's getting close to launch a blockchain you need to usually put out three versions of the test net so they have already completed the first two they're in version three the final one now there's 16 test stages of version three and then stage nine is supposedly supposed to be the most difficult i've heard this from him i've heard this from other people it's called the uh, Aragon testing stage, something like that. So Richard put up this tweet a little while ago, about a, eight, nine days ago, that they finally got through the stage nine. Stage nine, he wrote, devs beat the bug and got stage nine to complete and pulse Aragon. That means it's likely the remaining metadata generated stages will complete as well. All clients are testing well now, and the tooling is being prepared for testnet v3 launch. This makes it seem like now that the tough stage nine is done, Stages 10 to 16 are going to be quick, just kind of natural. Hopefully that's the case. Regardless, it definitely seems like Pulse Chain is getting closer and closer than ever before to finally launching that. Even if you're not a Pulse Chain fan, that's good for the crypto space as a whole. It caters to the retail crowd like the other new projects do. So if that comes out, it's successful. It's just going to lift the whole, the whole space. So three projects I'm very excited about. If you want to do any more research on them yourselves, then just check out the links at the bottom right there. I'll probably feature these projects a little bit more in the next coming weeks just because I am very bullish on them myself. So for today, drop a comment down below, hit the like and subscribe button. Hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Back tomorrow with a new episode. Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.